Hi! Do you know how to create a serial port application using C++, CLI? Actually, it is quite similar to my previous video using C Sharp. Let's us walk through it and the code is available in my GitHub. Let's create a new C++ project by using CLR template. If you couldn't find it, you may refer to my C++ OpenCV video to set up your Visual Studio 2022. You may choose any path to save your project. It is entirely up to you. I would like to name my project as CPP underscore serial port. Great! Let's have a look at the Project Explorer. Double-click at Form1.h to switch to Form View. As usual, I would like to give a title for this form. This is my main form. I would like to rename the form 1 to main form. This is optional but I would suggest you do so if you would like to use it to expand to more complicated projects. A few places have to be renamed accordingly. Also for the include file. Rename it just in case you would like to use it later. The reference class and its constructor and destructor have to rename accordingly as well. I would like to compile it and test it first. Well, since this is from a CLR template, the namespace does not make any sense. Since I would like to use it for Arduino, I will rename it. Main form is also under the same namespace. Therefore, we need to rename it accordingly. For the main entry point file.cpp, it is better to rename it as well for a better readability. Let's see our first run. Close it and go to the project properties, we gonna make a few configuration.
Disable the pre-compiled headers. We do not need it. Sounds good. Let's add more buttons and combo boxes. This is exactly same as C-sharp. Rename them accordingly. We shall name them such that it makes sense for the later use. Try to avoid no meaningful naming. It will confuse us during the coding process. This button is for connection, so I would like to name it as BTN Connect. The second button is for COM port list refreshing, you may think a good name for it. Let's do the same for the combo boxes. You may also use list boxes to replace this but I found that combo box is easier to use. Well done! Let's generate an event for from load. This event function will be called when the form is loaded during the application runs. Let's add a serial port control object from the toolbox for later use. Name it as serial. In the form underscore load, I would like to initialize the COM port list and baud rate list. Let me think how to do it. I would like to create a local function that it can help me to update the COM port list when it is called. Let's add a local helper region first. Then create a function called update com port list. Get all available com ports from serial port class, get port name. Oops! Serial port class is undefined. Let's add and use the namespace system IO. Let's add all com port list to cboxcom. I will use a for loop to add each of them.
Let's continue by calling the update com port list in main form underscore load. I would like to add a few standard baud rate to the C box baud rate. Sure, the baud rate combo box still allow user input other than the list value. This is only to enhance user experience when using this application. Let's save it and test run to see whether it is working or not. Combo box for baud rate is working. No COM port is found. Let me connect my serial converter to test. We need to call update com port list function in refresh button as well. Let's check the available com port in device manager. My serial converter might have problem. There is no COM port detected in Device Manager, give me a second to check my hardware connection. Let me get another Arduino board to connect. Yes! It appears now. It is COM3. Great! Groundwork is done. Let's go to the COM port connect. In the connection button, it acts like a toggle button. Therefore, we check the current state based on the text disconnect and see any connection since last used. If there is a connection, user would like to close it, then we need to close it immediately.
Let's read the user selected com name from the CBOX com. We need to use try catch because the user might forget selecting the COM port prior to connect. The error will be prompted using message box. Let's try this first to demonstrate the message box. Look at that. Empty COM port will prompt a message box. Do the same thing for reading user baud rate. Use integer parse to convert string to integer. All the required parameters are ready, we gonna configure the serial now. The receive bytes threshold is set to 1 because I would like it to trigger the receive event even just 1 byte receive. Based on our configuration, let's open the port. As usual, we need to use try catch to handle the exception if you do not wish your application crashes. If the port is successfully opened, we need to update the button text to disconnect.
We gonna add the receive event handler so that it will get called if at least one byte is received. Let's test run it. I have set my Arduino to echo back all received bytes or characters. We need to create a function for the received handler. This function will be called from a thread inside the serial port. Therefore, any UI object cannot be accessed in this function. We will see it later. Let's try to connect the selected COM port. Sounds good. All are working. We gonna add a text box for receiving output. I would like to enable multi-line support for the text box. Rename it accordingly. This is to demonstrate why we can't access UI object in the event handler. It is not gonna work. Read serial data by using read existing. This will read all bytes. Let's test run first. I have set my Arduino to echo back all received bytes or characters.
Meanwhile, I would like to add a text box for data sending. And also a button for sending. In the send button click, I would like to read the text from the transmit text box the pass it to serial write. Some issue with serial write. Let me change it to serial write line. Give me a couple of minutes to check this.
Let's use right line, it only need to pass the string. Let's test run it. Let me set up my Arduino for a second. Oops! It receives data but the event handler tried to access UI object. This was what I meant. Let's solve it by using delegates function. No worries if you are not familiar with delegates, you can google it and learn it by your own. Basically, it is used to defer a process to another background task. The event handler could not stay too long from return. It needs to be fast. That was why we are not allowed to access any UI object in any event handlers. We have created the delegate function. We have to invoke it from the serial on receive invent handler. The delegate function takes in string parameter. Let's do a final test. It is working now. You may get the code from my GitHub https colon slash slash github.com slash gigacitron dash xcross slash cpp underscore serial port
Thank you for watching.